peace and welcome back to my corner of the internet. I am Shannon and welcome to day three of Vlogmas. Today I thought I would just sort of plop down in front of the tree and answer some questions in a Christmas tag. This morning my friend Kitty Cat Loves Makeup tagged me in a Christmas tag that she invented along with um, another one of our friends here on YouTube named Lori and I'm so excited to answer these questions. Let's just jump right on into it. The first one is when do you start Christmas shopping? Well, honestly, throughout the year, I'm always looking. Like, if I see something that I know my daughter would love, and I just so happen to see it in, like, April, <laughs> I grab it and squirrel it away. Um, so I'm doing that all year round. But um, I get down to business in November. Number two is, do you use Christmas wrap or bags? 90% of the time, Christmas wrap. I absolutely love wrapping presents. Um, I love picking a night in December, pulling out all the paper and the ribbons and the bows and the tags and just, after everyone's gone to bed, just spreading it out on the floor in the living room and wrapping. Now if it's something that is awkwardly shaped <laughs> or difficult to wrap, I will throw it in a bag, but I love wrapping. Um, my grandmother used to love wrapping and I have a lot of really fond memories of wrapping presents with her and like putting my finger on the ribbon so that she could tie it tightly and watching her curl the ends with scissors. I just loved it and that really stuck with me. Number three, do you have a favorite Christmas tradition? Yes, my favorite Christmas tradition is opening um, Christmas pajamas on Christmas Eve. Uh, we've done that my whole life. Uh, we've done that. My mom did that for me and my sister, and I believe her mom did it for her and her siblings, and then of course I do it with my daughter. And it's just one of those things that we look forward to. And once Christmas Eve comes, like as soon as she gets up, my daughter's like, I can't wait for my pajamas. <laughs> so that's, that's a favorite for sure. Um, share a favorite moment when you were a child. Um, favorite Christmas moment? I have so many, so, so many um, favorite Christmas memories. One um, that really sticks out is the year when I was very small and my grandfather had been um, working at something for months down in the basement of their house. And he'd been working on it, working on it. And I remember normally I could always go down to the basement with him when he was working and just sort of play around, but it was top secret at this point. And um, then Christmas rolled around and he showed me a dollhouse that he had made with his own two hands from scratch for me. And it was amazing. It was amazing. I'll try to insert um, a little clip here of that dollhouse because I still have it up, up in my spare bedroom right now. Um, on Christmas Day, is everyone at Grandma's, Mom's, or your place? We're all at my mom's, most generally, um, for dinner and just to spend time together. If you could have a big YouTuber do your makeup for a Christmas party, who would it be? Geez, I don't know. Uh, Kathy said Nikki Tutorials. That, that's a great choice. Uh, maybe I'd pick Kathleen Lights. I don't know. I love the look she does, and I just seem like um, I'd like to hang out with her more so. So I'm choosing her more so like on personality and stuff than makeup skills alone. Um, but yeah, she seems like she'd be fun to spend time with. Um, do you buy presents? Do you buy yourself presents for Christmas? Um, no, no, no. Um, although, you know, sometimes when you find a great gift for someone, it's tempting to want to buy one for yourself too. But no, most generally I don't. <laughs> A loved one wants to get you a gift card for Christmas. Do you pick Ulta or Sephora? I would pick Sephora, mainly because we don't have any Ultas here. And up until recently, Ulta didn't even ship to Canada. They do now, but it's still, there's still a lot of, like, sort of hoops you have to jump through. So I'd go with Sephora for sure. Okay, next question. Let me see here. Um, if you could use only one eyeshadow palette for the whole month of December, what would it be? First of all, it would what it would be is tragic. <laughs> but as for the actual palette, I would go with this. This is one of my all-time favorite palettes. It's from Stila. Oh, I'm blinding you there. And it's one of their um, Eyes Are the Window shadow palettes. And this one is in the, 
this one is the spirit one. <laughs> so let's say in the shade spirit, but no. Anyway, it's just got this gorgeous array of colors. As you can see, I've gone hard in this palette. I love it so much. Um, it's just got perfect, for me, festive colors. Plus it's got Kitten, one of my all-time favorite Stila shadows, um, which is so shimmery and glittery and gorgeous. And I just love this palette and think it would be perfect if you could only use one throughout the holidays. Okay, and the final question. You have a very small purse, like a clutch, to take with you to a holiday gathering. And in order to fit your phone in your wallet, you can only choose one makeup item to bring. What do you choose? Well, I would choose a lip product because that's the, that's the product I use the most and need to touch up the most. So I would choose on this Marc Jacobs lip gloss. I'm not a fan of lip glosses, but these Marc Jacobs ones are out of this world. This one is in the shade Rebel Rebel. And I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of got shimmer throughout it. And these are just perfect. They're perfect because you can just throw them in your bag and you can put them on without even using a mirror because it's, they're not messy. The applicator is perfect. The color is subtle, but like transformative. Like you can see it when it's on, it really ups a look. And it's just the perfect, the perfect lip product in my opinion. Anyway, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you've been enjoying Vlogmas so far. I'm going to tag three people down in the description bar below. I hope you'll do this tag, too, because I would love to hear your answers. I'll see you guys tomorrow.